All right. We are up to an appro uh, appropriately positioned periapical film of the premolars should include the distal of the canine. If you're getting yeah. both. When you uh, we take a periapical film for the premolars, okay, here, uh, premolars, sorry, premolars. So you should see definitely the two premolars almost right. in the center of the film. What do you expect to see mesial to it? The distal part of the canine. Or the whole canine, but definitely you'll see the distal part. What, what do you expect to see distal to it? Uh, the first molar. First molar, or at least a part of the first molar, probably the mesial part, right? Makes sense. Okay. A patient expresses concern about the hazards of radiation in dental radiography. The mm -hmm. assistant would best respond by stating, A, only those films necessary for proper diagnosis are exposed. B, film holders are used to maintain proper distance from tube head. Mm -hmm. C, the radiographic equipment has been sanitized for your protection. Or D, the walls of the operatory are lead lined. What did you choose? I put the last one, the walls of the operatory. Absolutely not, because Absolutely. walls of operatory is not uh, all lead. That's first. Um, Second, what would it do to you? I expose you directly to x-ray. Those sled walls will not do anything to yeah. you. Only necessary x-ray will be taken. Um, okay? And you can also explain that this is a very tiny amount of radiation. Which, we do not, like we try to keep it as minimal as possible. Which of the following conditions will result in a radiograph that is too light? Okay, light x-ray. What is the, the reason for it. Well, the choices that were given was the light... No, you tell me first all the reasons oh. for a light x-ray film. Not enough developer, too much too fixer. Fix. Not enough developer or weak developer? Weak developer. Okay. Oh, the uh, milliampage is uh, less. less. Too low. Too low. Right? Okay, exactly. Okay. What are the options there? Yeah, I already put the weak wrong one. Weak engine in the dark room, weak fixer solution, inadequate safe light, Weak okay, let's go one by one. Leakage in the dark room. That means the dark room has some light going inside. What would cause, what will be the result for this? Black. A black, yeah. No, if there's just a leakage, usually the film gets foggy. Oh. It just makes, put some like light on it, expose some other so it gets foggy. What's the second? Weak fixer solution. Weak fixer solution. Weak fixer doesn't do really anything. It could. Like, it will not fix the picture, but it will not really be noticeable in the film too much, okay? What else? Inadequate safe light. Inadequate safe light. If you don't have, you know what the safe light is? Yeah. The, the, red the red box. Light. If there's no safe light, you're not going to see the film well. Right. That's it, but you, nothing is going to, it's not affecting the film. Yeah. What's the last one? Weak developer. Too. Weak developer caused the film to be light. light. Because developer darkens, blackens the film, so if it's weak, it will not be darkened enough. Next. Which of the following is the best definition of scattered radiation? Radiation not from a natural source, for example, from the X-ray tube, background radiation, radiation produced after an object is struck with an X-ray And definitely tube. this is the answer. Okay. Right? Yes. Next. Oh, so. Can I have a question though? What is what do they say by background radiation? Does that mean like background it, radiation is the radiation in the environment? Oh, so and we will get exposed. Like to the it. nuclear th testing that they do, things like that, like in environment. Or it could be. It doesn't have to be really something nuclear. It could oh, be just you I mean, when you're walking in the street. You definitely get exposed to radiation. Oh, too. okay. So there is radiation everywhere. So. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Under what circumstances should an operator hold a film in the patient's mouth during exposure? Never. When should you hold the film in the patient's mouth? Never. Never. My answer is always if they are paying me a million dollars a month, right? In that case, I would hold the film for each patient. Rather than this, Never. don't do that, okay? Next. This one I got wrong. What if, what if the patient oh is a child and we really need someone to hold the film? What the, are you going to do? The mother. Yeah, the model. Because if, if the dentist would do that every time with every single patient, he'll be exposed to a Wait lot of it. Right? But the mom, she definitely has to, like, if she, definitely she doesn't have a hunted child who she has to bring to the dentist every day. So, next. 
Which of the following most directly affects radiographic contrast? Contrast is controlled by KVP. KVP. MA is controlled by the density. density. Or density is controlled by MA. Oh. Yes. Okay, next. Exposed but unprocessed x ray films require the same protection as unexposed films, dark room storage, refrigeration, or immediate processing. The, again, can you read the question again? Did Exposed but unprocessed x ray films okay. require immediate processing. What are the other things? Refrigeration, dark room storage, or the same protection as unexposed films. What did you choose, guys? A. Which is? The same protection as an unexposed Yes, film. the same protection as an unexposed film. You don't, re you don't have to do immediate um, um, processing. Only because then I feel like you would get confused, like you would forget which one you used, yeah, which one you didn't. Yeah, you definitely... But yeah. doesn't have to be? Yeah, faster processing is going to cause less confusion, absolutely. But you have to still protect it the same way you protect the unexposed film. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. What if you take the exposed film out and take a look at it? Is it going to look different than the non-exposed film? Yeah. How, how different would it look? Well, a non... Initially out of the wrapper? Yes. Without being exposed. So you have two films. One is exposed, one is not exposed. Mm -hmm. Take you them took both, both out and you took a look at them. Are you going to see any difference? No. No? Before or after processing. Before processing. The same. Same. Exactly. Does, is this any difference between both? <laughs> Besides that one's there already... Is, yes, there is a difference. One of them has a latent image that you cannot see, except after processing. One doesn't. But when you look at both, they will look the same. It's called latent image. Okay? It's an image, but you cannot see it. Next. Which of the following should be present on a diagnostically acceptable bite wing radiograph? What should you see in a bite wing, a yeah. good bite wing x-ray? But out of all of these, I put alveolar crest. crest yeah. You'll see the alveolar crest, yes. As we said before, we see the crown, a part of a tooth. Then you should see the alveolar crest between the teeth. Oh. Uh, we're skipping this one again with the picture. It's really horrible. Okay. Uh, for which of the following radiograph graphic views is a cassette not used? Mm. Panoramic, cephalometric, waters view, or periapical? Periapical. Periapical. What is a cassette? A cassette is like a like a cassette. Okay. Now we put the film inside, and this is only used for extraoral x-ray um, because the film is outside your mouth so we cannot just hold the film because it will be exposed to light it has to be held in a cassette and this is used for panoramic cephalometric water what? view what is that? <laughs> it's a water view is um it could give you a big a good picture for like sinuses maybe maxillary sinus um it looks like it, yeah. it usually um shows the picture of the brain like from the top or or the, like the base side. Oh, okay. And it's, um, it's the best to, I forgot, what do we use it? It's the best for diagnosing something. Probably the maxillary sinus, I'm not sure. Because I've remember. never heard of the water's view. Really? Yeah. I think do you need water to take? The answer for, only the answer for maxillary sinus. Okay. Rather than this, we would do MRI, but, um, uh, or CAT. Or cat. Yes. So, oh. um, I think usually it's only preferred for maxillary sinus. I believe so. I'm not sure. All right. Sounds cool. Next. How often should a patient have a complete radiographic series exposed? At least every three years, at least every five years, as determined by patient needs, as determined by the insurance company. I put every three years. <laughs> I will go always, I, I know those questions are confusing, but I always choose definitely not the insurance company. I would always go according to the patient, according to the patient needs, okay? I would always go really? with the patient needs, yes. What is the function of the fixer? Oh, come on. Okay. Well, now that we, we got the crash course, I can see if I got this right. Mm -hmm. It removes the unexposed silver halide crystals from emulsion. Thank you. Next. Okay. I got that one right. For most periodical radiographs, the film package should be placed in the mouth so that the identification dot is always facing the occlusal or incisal edge. That's what we put. 
What did you put? Occlusal cool, so or incisal? The dot? Yeah. Or Why? there's in the upper right corner. So if I'm, I'm going to put an, an x ray film right here, should I keep the dot here no. or here? Upper okay. left. Why? To differentiate the maxillary or the tibia. No, absolutely not. It's not. That would not help knowing the maxillary. Problem. I thought the dot was supposed to be in the slot. When we take the x-ray, Dr. Sauer. Why? I don't know. When you put it, you make sure that the white's facing you and then the dot goes in the slot. Why? For orientation? No, it doesn't do anything to orientation. For orientation, the dot has to be looking at you. Okay. But if you put it to the bottom or the top, will not, so will not it help for? you for orientation because so you know where the root is and where the crown so is. So we won't misread the Yes. The yes, this could... Be confusing sometimes the dot because you could diagnose it as whatever <laughs> you could. Sometimes people would keep thinking, what, what is this? Sometimes they do these dirty games, could be done in an exam and tell you, what is this? And you keep thinking, oh, granuloma maybe? <laughs> it is just the dot. So uh, that's why, it, not to confuse yourself, just keep the dot occlusal or incisal. Oh, okay. Yeah, Next. <laughs> When duplicating radiographs, the sensitive side of the duplicating film is placed away from the duplicating light source, towards the dupli duplicating light source, away from the radiographs to be duplicated, towards the raised dot of the radiographs to be duplicated. I took a guess. I put towards the raised dot on the radiographs to be duplicated. No. If away it, from the, duplicated light source. the light source yes why because when you duplicate a film here guys this is one film that has a picture and this is the other film that doesn't have the picture so that has to be it has to pass first you're copying right, right? you're duplicating so it has to pass first through the picture uh -huh. and then pass it through the one behind not the opposite next so it's away from the duplicating light yes. oh. which Use use of which of the following would not reduce patient exposure to radiation? Excuse me. I put the lead lined walls. Yes. Huh. What what are the other options? The F speed, F -speed film, film, lead apron, lead apron fast films, lead apron, and the and digital two or no rectangular collimator. Oh yes, another one too. Here, okay. Let's put all the thing that decreases the amount of radiation. Fast film, mm -hmm. definitely. Lead apron, mm -hmm. absolutely. Using digital, when you use digital, you can decrease the amount of radiation halfway, 50%. Numbers could be negotiated sometime, but anyway, let's say 50%. <coughs> the cone could also change the amount of radiation that the patient gets exposed to. Let's see how. First of all, is it better to use, here, cone? Is it better to use cone? Lead lined or plastic? Is it better to use rounded, round, or rectangular? Is it better to use long or short? That's basically the only options that we can have. Lead or plastic? Plastic. Lead. Plastic. Lead. 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 Round or rectangular? Rectangular. Rectangular, my friend. I'm already Round. checking it, so seriously, <laughs> come on. Long or short? Long. Long short. or short? Short, okay. Long. <laughs> why? Let's see why. Uh, I will leave lead and plastic to the end. Round or rectangular? If we have, it doesn't really make a lot of sense anyway, this is the film. If you have a rectangular cone and you just put it like this, so that's almost what's needed. But if it's rounded, you're getting extra. There's a lot more extra. It doesn't convince me, but anyway, I'm sure you're convinced. Uh, that's why rectangle is better. Long or short? Here, let's see. Oh, sniper and the pistol. This is the one cone here, and this is another cone. Let's see. And here's the patient. Little retarded. <laughs> okay, That's recorded. Here is our patient. Okay. 
I need to say have a nose too. <laughs> so, this is a short film, and this is the source, or what we call it, the target of the x-ray. Remember, the x-ray comes from the target. If you hear the word target, you will think that this is the film. Very confusing, no. Target is, this is the target. Yeah, okay. Okay, the positive, the anode target, okay? So that's why we call it target. Some people think the target is where the x-ray is going to. No, target is where the x-ray is coming from. from. Most confusing terminology that you could see in uh, radiology. So here's the target, and the x-rays are coming in all directions, as you can see here. There are x-rays that are also going this way. So we have here, these ones will not go through, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see this one. Here's the target. We have all directions of x-rays, again. But again, as we said, this one will not get through the cone. So imagine, here is your patient. Let's move that patient here. Or let's start with here. If the patient is here, let me move him a little down. This is his face. And this is his body. How much of his body is exposing to x-ray? Only this, this area, right? right? That's it. Let's put this patient up there. His Let's whole see body how much so of right. him his whole body is it's almost his whole body is getting exposed with that short, including his genitals. Genitals, right? So uh, definitely longer is better. Mm -hmm. Rectangular is better. Lead or plastic. Question. Go ahead, change your mind. I yes. did. <laughs> yes. Only because when you said the the cone, you didn't mean the 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 PID like the position indicating thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just. Should it be lying here? Remember the X-rays. So that part's lead. Yeah. If this is not lead, it'll go. X-ray will keep going through. Yeah. Okay. So it has to be lead. lead. Okay. Okay. So these are the three things that decreases the amount of radiation that the patient gets exposed to when we're talking about the PID. Those three things. Okay. Made of shape or length, and that's it shape round or rectangular, or circular or rectangular, long, short, and lead or plastic. Next. Cellular death as a result of irradiation okay. is more likely to occur in cells undergoing division of nervous tissue, mm -hmm. of greater maturity of bone tissue. Mm -hmm. I had it narrowed down to two, greater maturity and undergoing division. That is. That's the one, yeah, undergoing division. It is, that's the one, right? Yes. yes. Younger cells, you know, a baby still just born, so they are, might not, they might not resist the radiation, like anything that's still young or just formed, probably weak to resist. And the most resisting, usually the, the question, they don't really bring confusing questions. They usually put one or two of the most, um, one of the most uh, sensitive, between stronger cells or tissues, and they ask you which one is the most sensitive or the mm. opposite. Remember, most sensitive will be sensitive. Are like the organs would be a sensitive thing, like a gland. What in the organs? Like uh, general. Heart. Don't forget general cells. Oh, your general okay? cells. Okay. Because they are they divide really often. What else? Very sensitive. Your heart, your lungs, and bone marrow. Bone marrow. Okay. So remember, the genital and bone marrow are usually the most sensitive cells. So sensitive. Skin and glands come after them. The strongest or most resisting are nerves and muscles. Usually ask for the most resisting and they put one of the two or the most sensitive and they put one of the two. Okay. And you can figure out that genitals, they always produce new cells all the time. Uh, and bone marrow too, it always produces young new cells all the time for blood cells and so and so. Okay? So it makes sense. The younger, the more sensitive, the older or the long lasting 
cells then the more resisting mm. remember nerves and muscles the strongest all right mm -hmm. okay next <clears throat> to what does the term film speed refer mm, i put film speed i put sensitivity to the x radiation yeah sensitivity to x-ray fast film is the film that needs minimum amount of x-ray to form a picture remember please speed of film has no relationship with 